Singularity Net lets anyone create, share, and monetize AI services at scale and is the world's first decentralized AI network. It was co founded by a whole lot of smart people in the AI space. The AI marketplace built for you, powered by open collaboration, never be limited by in house machine learning and AI capabilities. Again, explore and connect to the largest open AI marketplace in the world. So it helps you create and also helps you trade your own AI on the AI marketplace. It's running and is active right now. So that's great. And they are achieving a whole lot on their roadmap. So that's very, very good. It was co-founded by Dr. Ben Gozel and a whole lot of smart people. And also Dr. David Hansen is part of it. And if you are aware of the Sophia Robotics, then you are aware of Hansen Robotics. So this is great. The Sophia Robotics is even powered by this AI marketplace. So that is a very big step for the team. So the roadmap here, they've achieved almost everything they've stepped out. And right now they are right here. Second half of the fiat to crypto gateway. This enables AI providers to receive payments in fiat. Now, both AI service developers and users will be able to interact with a platform using either fiat or AGI token, depending on their taste. With AGI token used in every case of the back end, the token economic mechanics of the gateway will be enabled by staked AGI token. So even if you use, fi uh, you use fiat to pay for or you get paid in, the AGI token is used in the back end to make sure that the token has a very use a very useful use case in the ecosystem so if you are worried they are, they've already partnered with paypal and that makes it easy to even make transactions with the paypal network another thing they are focusing on achieving is flexible pricing model like subscription instead of paying for a one-time thing you can now subscribe and get access to all the AI that someone would just upload. Flexible pricing models, subscriptions, support for capturing lances on the blockchain and pricing based on the lances agreements. Currently, AI consumers pay per call for a service. We want to extend this and provide additional options such as subscriptions where customers pay on a fixed cadence for the use of a service. That's a great one. And this is very exciting as well. Swift SDK. The release of our Swift SDK to enable developers to build native iOS apps for Apple devices that may cost to the platform, opening a huge market opportunity for service providers to generate costs by directly assessing the 1.4 billion iOS users around the world. So everyone using an Apple product being an iPad an iPhone or even a MacBook, they can just access all these people over 1.4 billion iOS users. So that is a very great one and a very ambition project. So this is what I wanted to talk to you about Singularity. They are doing a whole lot of other things. They have a lot of partnerships as well. And one of them is Ping and Insurance, also with Nature 2.0. And this is what Dr. Bengozo has to say about these partnerships. The scale of Pen and provides considerable opportunities to showcase the benefits of AI application. We are currently discussing how to integrate Singularity Net infrastructure with Pen's IT structure in order to analyze the different types of data available. With our new collaboration with Nature 2.0 initiative, we will apply our unique decentralized AI framework and tools together with their capabilities to work toward affordable, sustainable energy for all. So this is a very ambitious project and the type of partnerships they have speaks for itself. They have partnerships with UNESCO to help prepare the youth for the future, also with Cisco and with Bank of Malta with Domino's Pizza as well. This is what a Domino's Pizza Malaysia CEO has to say about their partnership with Singularity Net. He said a lot, but here is what I have highlighted. Our newest transformation effort is occurring in our operations function, 
where we are automating significant portions of our delivery operations and consolidating our operations centers. Singularity AI algorithm and services will allow us to explore these efficiencies at scale. So it's a very big one. One other thing that gets me very excited about not just Singularity Net but AI in general is one article that I saw from PwC some time ago and they highlighted about the impact of ai on the world economy how it's going to contribute to gdp growth and they say 15.7 trillion dollar game changer so ai could contribute up to 15.7 trillion dollars to the global economy in 2030 so that means just 10 years away more than the current output of china and india combined so even if you put china and india right now they cannot reach the ai potential for just 20 30 10 years away of this 6.6 trillion is likely to come from increased productivity and 9.1 trillion is likely to come from consumption side effects this is a big one it's a really really big one and places like healthcare automated financial services are going to be the first that are going to have the biggest impact of AI and China to benefit about 26.1% of GDP that will be about 7.0 trillion and US will have around 14.5% so this is a very game-changing technology so that's why by the way if you're not aware of Masayoshi San he is the founder and CEO of SoftBank. They invest in a whole lot of tech companies and startups and he has raised a lot of money and he has contributed that towards AI and he's a very big believer of what this could be. He is a billionaire and he put his money where his mouth is. So AI is already past the stage of academic research and is at the stage of real world adoption, he said. It will be used extensively if I were to name three areas that will be most drastically transformed by AI in 10 years. They are corporate business models, healthcare, and transportation. This is what Masayoshi had to say. When the internet revolution began more than 20 years ago, people asked me similar questions. But what happened in the end? The internet spread far and deep into our corners of life. The same goes to artificial intelligence. The world will not grow tired of AI. This was when he was asked about whether he thinks AI is going to be big and is going to stay or is something that is just in a bubble and is going to die off. And he's a really big believer in AI. This is his prediction for not just AI, but for singularity, for a stage where artificial intelligence exceeds that of human, where all these machines and all these devices that we are creating and making them smart get actually smarter than we are. So I predict 30% years from now, this is his prediction. The number of smart robots, the smart robot population of this earth will be 10 billion. By that time, human population will be around 10 billion. So here on this earth, we will have 10 billion population of mankind and 10 billion population of smart robots. This is the first time on this earth that we live together with 10 billion robots. Every industry that mankind created will be redefined. The medical industry, automobile industry, the information industry, of course. Every industry that mankind ever defined and created, even agriculture, will be redefined. Because the tools that we created were inferior to mankind's brain in the past. Now, the tools become smarter than mankind ourselves the definition of whatever the industry will be redefined so he thinks from every industry that exists right now we are going to have a big impact of ai on that and the way we do things every single thing will have an impact and it will change the way we do it so if that's going to happen that will mean we will have a very big use case for AI and that means decentralizing it and taking the power from one organization or one government is essential because a whole lot of other people have shown concern about how this can be very dangerous if it's not done right and I don't see a better way of doing it than making it decentralized taking the power away from 
institutions and governments and putting it back into the hands of everyone so that we just be each other's keeper so this is what i wanted to talk to you about and if you're really excited about the research i do about everything i put in and the videos i put out guys help me by subscribing and also hitting on the notification bell subscribing it's really going to motivate me to keep making contents and also please if you get a time chat with us in the comment section let us know everything going on let us know your opinion about the agi token because right now it is very very cheap dead cheap looking at everything that it can achieve it's just trading around two cents so if you can get it for a market cap of less than 20 20 million then it's really really going to make a very big impact on your portfolio in the future because if ai can turn out to be this big like pwc is saying 15.7 trillion game changer in just 10 years from now then a protocol that's not just a protocol but a marketplace for trading all these assets and it's also started by some smart people in the industry dr bengozel is actually the person that came up with the term agi artificial general intelligence when people were not even thinking about it and now he has transformed from being a researcher into building a business around his own research so the potential for AGI is really huge. So the total supply is 1 billion and right now over 80% of that is in circulation. So even if the total if the total supply hits the market and this coin goes to 1 billion market cap. So at 1 billion market cap, it will be trading at $1 per token. And I think that's very simple and easy to achieve. And that will be about 50x from the current price. And I don't even think that's where AGI is going to get to. But let's say that's where it starts, right? Because this can go to 100 billion. This can go to 500. This can go to 1 trillion in the future. And that's not something I'm talking about happening right now or even in the next few years or something. No. But in the next few years, you can be thinking about at least 10 billion for this token if people become aware of what it is and if with all these partnerships it has if it starts to put in the work and it starts to get the awareness it needs in the crypto space this token can fly that easy so that's there right so i'm really really excited about singularity net i've been involved with it for quite some time but this is the first time i'm talking about it making a video about it so guys look into it and there's no financial advice or anything there's just a deal with sharing his thoughts with you so guys it's okay to take some time and look into singularity net to see if it's something that you are really excited about so again subscribe please and bye